What's up, y'all? Welcome back to another episode of Ranch Simulator. Get ready to get your hands dirty, because today we are going to be building a brand new building here on the farm. It's going to be a good one. And we are going to start working with them pigs, baby. Let's uh, let's go see what we can do. First things first, we're going to have to mow this here grass. And uh, let's see where we're actually going to be building. So it looks like this square. We actually lined that up pretty perfectly right there. I'm proud of us. But um, yeah, man, today we're back. I'm excited. And uh, we're going to see if we can branch out into some new animals. Which is uh, is going to be pretty good. Actually, I, I think we need to get this square here. And I think we need to get everything over to the road as well. Because I think we can build a pen on top of everything that we're going to be doing. But um, we'll see, man. We've been grinding. I've been, uh, you know, working, working overtime, hunting, try to collect eggs and all kinds of stuff like that. It's definitely not easy. But uh, we're, we're getting it done slowly but surely. We're building up Hidden Valley here. And... Uh, Hopefully one day soon we are going to be fully self-sufficient. So for right now, we just we have a ton of grass to mow. This is a, a lot of grass that we're going to have to do. I guess a more effective way would probably be to do kind of like, you know, MLB stadium style. Just go all the way down, bang a left, turn around, then go all the way back. Something like that. I don't know. I used to enjoy cutting the grass. I really did. It was one of my favorite chores. I, growing up in Illinois, I did a lot of, of mowing and then also snow shoveling. And I, I, honestly, I, I kind of enjoyed both of them. I never, uh, I, for the longest time, I didn't have a riding lawnmower. Eventually, I got one because I kind of turned it into a bit of a business type thing. But I never really had one when I was doing it just like for my mom and stuff. I always had a push mower, kind of enjoyed the fact that it was like a mini workout. And then on top of that, you know, you're outside, you have your headphones in. You get to see these beautiful lines and designs that you're making. I don't know. It's it's kind of almost an art form. Same thing goes with snowing if, if or shoveling, shoveling snow, snowing. I, I, I didn't snow myself, but uh, I did shovel it. Um, you know, just, just kind of finding the, the right amount that you can do to do one full sweep of the driveway without having to restart halfway through and stuff, if that makes sense. It, uh, it was... It was always a good time. I, I kind of enjoyed that. Obviously, don't really have that here in Florida, but I um, guess we can, you know, maybe find a snow shoveling simulator. I, I think I'd pass on that. So we've got just a couple, a couple more swoops here. Now, what makes me a little bit nervous is we're not out hunting right at this very moment, which means that we, we, you know, could start getting in trouble. Our chickens have been just eating like crazy, especially the, the, the breeding coop that we've got set up. They're, they've been, you know, mating so quickly, growing up so quickly. I've moved some over into the other one, but it just keeps filling up and we keep having more and more chickens that we have to feed and it's it's honestly getting it's getting a little bit expensive. So we gotta be careful about that. It looks like this is gonna be our last little piece here. Let's go ahead and move the mower on over yonder. Go ahead and shut her off and uh, let's see let's see what we're working with so we're gonna go ahead and build a barn that's gonna be the first thing classic red barn ensures the safety of your livestock can be expanded and improved at an additional cost so we're gonna go ahead and build that we've got to remove the grass first are you kidding me all right we've got to do one more one more little pass along the outer edge I thought we were good to go but yeah, you can build the barn. You have to build doors individually. They'll charge you for the doors. Let me get this little piece here too, just in case that was it. They'll charge you for the doors. You have to build the, um, the, the you know, enclosure around it, like the fence around it for you to be able to be able to keep the, the pigs and, and cattle in there, which as of right now, we're pretty much only going to be able to afford pigs. And I don't even know if we're going to be able to do that, dude. It's, it's, it's going to take a little bit of work. Let's try to get this over here. Just kind of swing it a bit wide. Run along this. We got to be careful because we might start running out of, of gas in this thing. You guys know that we know all about that. I'm going to hit this last little patch over here. And we should be good. All right. Don't you dare tell me that we've got more stuff in the way. I'm actually, now that I look at it, it might be that tree. Let's try that. No, we're good to go. All right. So now what we're going to do is we are going to go back to our hand. We're going to go grab our gator. We're going to go down to our lumber mill and we're going to pick up a bunch of wood that we're going to use to build this thing. We chopped up this wood while we were waiting for our hens to lay eggs like three or four episodes ago. So it's just been sitting here. Hopefully it's still here. Go ahead and back this thing on in. Looks good to me. And uh, let's lower this tailgate. Pick up three at a time. And we're going to be able to throw these bad boys in there and even stack them a bit. Oh, shoot. 
You know, stack them individually. There it is. One, two, three. We should just be able to lay the whole stack, but I guess it doesn't it doesn't work like that. It pays to work ahead, baby. I didn't mean to pick that up. Definitely pays to be on top of it. Instead of sitting here and cutting up this wood and stuff like that, we're just gonna be able to throw all of this in our, our gator. And we're gonna be able to roll out to the barn. That looks that looks good to me. Hopefully these things don't fall out. Looks like they're pretty well stuck in there. And uh, now, if we just leave this thing right here, we're just going to be able to pick it up. Pick up three, and then look at this. Insert, insert, insert. Dude, I think we're going to have too much wood, to be honest. Insert, insert, insert. That's a good thing. We're going to be able to, you know, build the additional selections as we need them. Insert that, insert this this guy here this guy here we've got an upper story roof type thing want to make sure our pigs and cattle are protected from the environment here okay this is this is actually going to take more than i thought shoot we're gonna have to go back and get some more wood but we're uh we're, we're getting close come back down grab another load of wood here just a hard working man earning a, a dime and a dollar at a time really cut a pennies at a the time especially with the, the way things have been going but we should start to get a little bit better pretty much all I've been doing is just just grinding the hunting that's that's our main source of income I'm really hoping especially in this episode we start to see the chickens pull their weight a bit more I mean we got we got eggs for breakfast for days but we aren't really producing enough to be able to survive off of they uh they eat a lot of feed that's for sure it's just kind of nice man I would Enjoy something like this. Just, just a man out here, earning his keep, just working hard, setting up his barn, doing his thing. Here we go. Pick up three pieces. Let's see if we can reach that there. I don't know how we're gonna. I guess we can kind of, kind of get it a little bit. Looks like we might need three or four more pieces here. Let's see if we can reach that. That. Something up top. How are we gonna get up there? Ah, there's four more pieces up top. All right, three more after this one. Here we go. Come on. Pretty talented builder, if you ask me. Holy cow, look at that. That's what I'm talking about, baby. So we have ourselves a brand new barn. I'm actually kind of excited. Like, it's it's cool to see this finally starting to take shape, finally starting to come together. So we're going to get our building thing back out. We're definitely going to want to build some uh, some doorways so we could choose. That's going to cost $75. We have 500 bucks. And we need how much? 600 for two pigs? My goodness. And then we're going to need stuff for feed and stuff as well. Feeding trough is an absolute must. We're going to have to put that down. You have to spend another 75 bucks here. I'm not going to do that yet. What is this here? Main door. And then we can also choose to build a corral. So I'm going to do the corral at least. So that's a good thing. It looks it looks like we are gonna have to do the main door. Oh my goodness, dude, this is this is so expensive. Now can we we can open this up, right? Yeah. Look at that. Wow. All right. Um, I, I mean, we're we're just not we're not gonna be able to afford anything else. We're we're gonna build this this door for 75 bucks. We just ran through our entire entire bank account just like that. We've got an empty barn. With nothing to put in it. Go ahead and open this thing up. I really, I really hope the gator's going to be able to fit through this. I think it will. We're going to have to go drop all this extra wood off. And then we're going to have to go to the market. Try to, you know, do some hunting and stuff like that. Try to make a little bit more money. We need $600 for two pigs. Plus all the feed for them. Plus everything else. This, this is... This is a bit of a grind. Let me run up here real quick. I usually take care of the chicken coops at night. Like I, I pick up, you know... All the eggs and droppings and stuff like that just because we can't really do much of anything else we do. Oh, what the fudge, dude. I had, I ended, oh my gosh, I was, I was grinding all day today and I ended, or not, not all day, but you know, for the past few hours, I ended with a, a basket full of eggs. They glitch, sometimes they glitch out of it. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. We probably had two or three hundred dollars worth of eggs. I'm wondering, I remember setting it down in here. Did it leave them in there? Nope. Okay, well, we've got a couple a couple more eggs we're going to be able to grab. I'm just going to take these. Ooh, they're appearing out of midair. That's nice. I can't believe it. Something just fell over there. Okay, well, something just fell and broke. We're just going to have to have to deal with what we've got. We had a ton of eggs to be able to turn in. Like, probably four hundred dollars at least worth. 
That it was like three or four days worth. That's really frustrating. Best case scenario is we just find a couple of uh a couple of animals to be able to take out. We've got a, a decent amount of gas here, so that's not really a concern as of today, but we just we need to make some money now to be able to buy the freaking dude. I'm I'm so we would have had enough money. We could have gone straight to the store, sold all of our eggs. We we would have had enough for at least one, probably not two, but we could have gotten at least one. We could have gotten some feed for them, and we could have gotten them started. Because the thing is, the, the pigs, they, I believe, they take a, a fairly significant amount of time to be able to fatten up so that they're ready for slaughter. And we could have, we could have at least gotten a head start on one, but I guess that's just not how today is going to go. At least give me some positive vibes here. One, you coming at me, bro? I always let them run at me. Two, three. It just makes it a little bit easier so that you're they're next to the gator so you can pick their meat up and, you know, just kind of drop it in. I have a weird vibe right now that there's something else out here with us, but maybe not. Fire this thing on up. Get out of here. Whatever is in this area is, is not, not making me feel right and at home. So let's search. From what I've, I've noticed, because I've been grinding a lot, hunting a lot... You typically don't find as much wildlife at night. Now, I've never seen a wolf. I heard there are wolves in this game. I still haven't seen one. So maybe that's just because we're not hunting at night. But I do notice that the deer and the grizzly... I mean, they, you can f sometimes kind of find them at dusk. But for the most part, they seem to disappear towards nighttime. Which is, is getting pretty close here. So if we could find... Oop. If we could find one or two more, that would be clutch. Wait for him to stop. Not the smartest deer of the bunch right there. Got a long ways to track this one down, boys. It's gonna be a, a tough, a tough ride. I joke, but where'd he go? I was here, and I shot him up here. Bro, I'm so confused. I was, I was, I was trolling. I was saying like, yeah, we got a, a long way. It's, it's gonna be tough to find him. Apparently, it actually is tough to find him. Okay, I, th that's just how today is going to go, I guess. Let's let's run to the store before it gets too dark. Closes at 9 p.m. We don't have a ton of time. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm coming in here late. I always feel bad about that. Like, a restaurant or something, you're coming in. I, you, I, I don't come in any closer than 30 minutes, and even when I come in at 30 minutes, which I know is, is supposed to be okay. Like, that's, that's not bad. Um, I, I, I still always feel really, really bad about it, so... Let's, uh, let's go ahead and sell here. We're going to make $182. Congrats, guys. We're broke. I bought a bunch of feed, too, because, I mean, we're, we're going to need it. it there's there's no, no doubt about that. We already are going through it like crazy with the chickens, and the pigs are going to make things even worse. But the good news is the pigs do have a... Um, they've got an automatic feeder we can eventually set up. We just aren't nearly rich enough to be able to do that yet. So you could set up, like, a giant silo next to them, and then you just go up to the silo, and you, you hold E, and it refills it automatically. So... That would be nice, but that's a long ways off. So let's go ahead and put all of our stuff back in here. We're going to go back home, tend to the chickens, clean up the coops. All right, so now it's time for our nightly rounds. This is pretty much what I've been doing. Uh, probably five or so in-game days of this. Going out, getting at least two hunting things in, making some money, coming back. Let's uh, go ahead and open this up. Chickens are sleeping now, so that's good. Looks like they don't have any new eggs for us here, but they do have some other types of droppings, which are not ideal. So we're going to go ahead and pick those up. We've got to come down here, open this up. We're going to do the same thing. Looks like, uh, I mean, this, this coop has significantly fewer chickens, and you guys can see they still kind of did a number on the feed today. Wait till you see the other one, and keep in mind that it was, it was pretty much full. I don't know if we really got a good look at it earlier, but it was pretty much full. So let's uh, go ahead and throw this down for now. We're going to Try to fill this up a bit. We're going to need at least one more. Let's go go grab this guy. Going to go throw him in as well. So they're going to be all the way full. Now we're going to grab our egg basket. Come over here. See what we've got going on inside these. Hello, beautifuls. You guys will make me a little bit of money. But uh, I need you to not disappear next time. I don't know if there's a different basket we can get that might work better. Or maybe we just don't collect them as often or what. But this is... Uh, Obviously not a very good thing. So I'm going to go ahead and shut those. Let's go in here, see what we've got going on. Lots of droppings. And you guys can see one day almost completely gone of food. Why are you up? 
Get get inside. I'm, I'm gonna if you're gonna be a troublemaker, I'm gonna go put you over here. Just think think about what you did. Maybe you're overcrowded in there and you're unhappy or something. I'm not sure. So much of this stuff to pick up, dude. So much of it. Just pick it all up. We got all kinds of babies and stuff. We gotta keep remembering to move them over into the next pin. Otherwise, we're going to end up with an overcrowded pin and we're going to have a lot of dead chickens. Got to refill the waters too. My goodness, man. These, I Honestly, I kind of feel like the chickens are, are more work than they're worth. I, we, we haven't really seen a, a, big, a big profit margin on them. They take a lot of time, which again, I mostly do it at night just because it takes so much time. A lot of feed and they don't really give you that much in return. This guy filled up all the way back again and then I guess... I mean, this is kind of nice that we have like the double doors. We can come check on the pigs and then if we want to go in there, we can do that. I guess we could start start filling up the feeder. It's not not like we have any pigs to go in there yet, but uh, we can we could start making moves. A second one here for it. And we're going to go back. We're going to have a third one and look at that. Now we're broke and we're out of food. This is actually kind of a bad idea because now we don't have any extra feed for the chickens. I really, I, I shouldn't do this. This is going to get us in trouble. We're feeding... An area that has no animals right now. We can do water. We have unlimited water. Let's let's prep with water instead. That's a much a much better idea. Just 2 a.m. things, man. Don't want to do this stuff during the day because you got to be out there hunting. Otherwise, you're not going to be able to survive. I'm going to be honest with you. Being a uh, being a farmer is not not all it's cut up to be. So we've got that thing filled with water. I'm going to put down a fresh bucket right there. Let's go ahead and shut our doors and uh, look at that. 4 a.m. Your boy's going to go in and get just a lick of shut eye, baby. We're going to get about three, three and a half hours or so. And uh, it's going to be time to get back out there and do it again. Uh, life ain't easy as a farmer, man. You just you just got to got to. Do what you gotta do. So I'm gonna hop right into it. We're, we're just, we're gonna book it. We gotta go get to hunting. We're at about 50% gas, a little bit less. So we might be able to make it a full day. We might try to hit the gas station on the way home. It's it's not easy. Being being a, a tough working man is not easy. Okay, so things actually might might look up a little bit for us here. It's only 9.30. We, we saw a doe on the way to the... Uh, to the hunting grounds and then there was a, a buck just outside of the general store so i figured since we're already here we might as well sell everything that we have just to make the extra room so we're gonna we're gonna be able to get off to a hot start hunting today that's 210 bucks right off the rip that's actually not too bad looks like we found ourselves another doe right off the bat too she's over there just wait and be patient she's gonna stop on the road boom there it is all right so we're, we're actually, we're making some good progress this morning. We, we might be able to afford these, these piggies quicker than we expected. I want to go back over towards that other side over there and see if we can potentially, uh, find that, that buck that we lost track of here in the, the daytime. Might be able to see it a bit easier. It was right here, right? Or was it? No, it might've, it might've been back over here. I don't remember, dude. We might find it eventually. I think it was, it was right here. Yep, we had the double the double tier. Dude, that's weird. It 100% it just disappeared on us. Oh, no, there it is. It looks like a rock. Oh my goodness. All right, he was a little bit off to the the, you know, left of of where I thought he was, but we'll we'll take that. All right, free free meat, baby. Give me give me all that meat. I'm trying to be a little bit gas conscious and coast. See if we see anything out here as we get further north it typically I do see, in this area right in here, I see quite a few deer. But for the most part, that southeast side is our best bet. It's, it, to be honest, it's it's kind of hard to spot them. It's, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Oop. There's one. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Roll up to her. Is it a him? It's a him. Gotta have that quick triple tap, baby. Pulling up to this feller over here. I appreciate you putting food on my table and potentially pigs in my pen, my guy. You are, uh, you are a real one. And throw that there. Throw this here. We've got enough space for maybe one more animal, depending on what it is. So let's head back towards the store. If we don't see anything, we'll just sell all this and try to. I mean, I've never had a day where I had three. Three, you know, cell trips. It's always just been two because usually it takes a while to find things. So, 
We we truly are in a pretty good spot here today. We just got to be careful about the gas situation. No luck, so we're going to go ahead and drop off all of our things. I did see, you know, I, I told you guys the other day about how, how I've been doing a bunch of grinding just to be able to make money and stuff. I did see some comments of some people that were like, dude, I'd, I'd watch you hunt for two hours. Nah, fam. That would be the most boring video of all time. We've had we've had a bit of action in this one, which makes it a bit better. But this, I mean, what you're seeing right here, just running back and forth and then going back out and looking for animals, that's that's pretty much like 90% of my, my playtime so far in this game. It's definitely definitely a bit grindy, but um, it's fun. It's, you know, almost cathartic in a way. So it's, uh, it's, it's 2.37 p.m. right now. Raining, which means we aren't going to see as many animals, but uh, we're, we're still going to try for it. We're oop, oop, oop. Speak of the devil. Here we go. Got to get that triple shot. Let's try to get a little bit closer. He's going to stop soon. Got him. It's up over this hill, right? Somewhere right there Dude it Especially as it gets like, you know rainier darker Overcast stuff like that it can get a little bit a little bit tougher to spot your kills Obviously not nearly as hard as in real life, but uh It gets there. I am keeping an eye on the gas. Don't you guys worry. I Have not had one accidental run out of gas moment since uh the moment that we all know that I'm referring to, so that's good news. Usually you see a grizzly. This is this is the grizzly cove, grizzly meadows. I don't see a grizzly this time around. I mean, they're, they're not usually. I would say maybe 20% of the time, but most places it's like 5% of the time you'll catch a grizzly, but that, that area is pretty common with it. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm thinking we're, we're going to do, because it's starting to get late and it's raining. We're not going to see much going forward. We're going to do one or two more passes. Oh, there's a grizzly right there. Come on, big papa. Where you at, dog? Come at me. Come on. Get all the way to the thing. All the way here, big daddy. Come on, baby. Make it easy on me. That's what I'm talking about. Be careful. Make sure there's nothing else around us. It's kind of a little bit. In One of these days, I'm going to have missed a shot. And it's not going to look like it. Like, the game's not going to register a shot. And the bear's just going to swap me in the face. But I'll, uh, I'll definitely definitely deserve it that time around. Um, see where we can put this piece. Looking pretty good. It's all about that, that Tetris effect. Got to really kind of stack everything tightly. But yeah, we're, we're going to try to get one or two more. Go sell, maybe pick up a pig. I'm thinking we're gonna have enough money to pick up a pig. Pick up a pig, get some feed. Run and get gas. Gotta make sure you have enough money to be able to get gas. And that that should should be the end of a, a very, very solid day. Like I I guess two days technically is, is when we started this. But honestly, this this right here, what you guys are seeing, this is this is the best hunting money day that I've had in this game so far. All right, I'm, I'm getting a little gas, a little gas conscious here, so let's, let's go back and, and see what we're working with here. Hopefully we have enough for pig, feed, and gas. Gas will be about 30, 35 bucks, so we'll, we'll see. Shoot, we need bullets too. We don't want to lock ourselves in a situation where we don't have bullets. Ah, it's not good. All right, yeah, we're we're gonna have plenty of money. Okay, so I'm I'm gonna buy. Let's let's just start off with what we absolutely need. I'm gonna buy two sets of bullets. Let's let's buy that. I, I really don't want to mess this up because we we obviously can't reload in this situation because um, we did so well today. So we've got 50 bullets now. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna buy a $300 pig. Let's go ahead and purchase that and check out. Uh, transport animals in a car. E button when facing large livestock. You control it to follow you home on foot or get in the car when facing it. Okay. So we've got our, our pig here. We're going to manage him. And we're going to transport the animal. Beautiful. Look at him. Look at old Chester here. I appreciate you, buddy. All right. So we got Chester in the car. Then we're going to buy some feed. So I'm, I'm thinking how much we got $482. We actually have plenty of money. I'm going to, I'm going to buy a second, a second 
our third set of bullets there. Let's go ahead and check out with this. It's raining outside, not good. So we're gonna put some extra feed in next to Chester in here. Oh goodness gracious, that is a little bit a little bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. So let's go ahead and put that in there. We're gonna pick up our extra bullets. It's only 5.21 p.m., but it feels a lot later than that. All right, Chester, we, we got got a long ways home, my man. I really, I, I, I'm fairly confident we have enough gas to get to the gas station. If we don't, we're going to be in bad shape. But I'm, I'm pretty confident. Got some nice lightning strikes happening in the background. We're going to go up and around this way. It looks long, but it's not. It's actually longer the other way because the, the road curves around. You've got a lot of verticality to it. This is gonna be, okay, we, we kinda wanted that momentum, Trev. You gotta be careful when you're crossing the train tracks. Don't go flipping this thing. Chester's in here for, you know, the, the long haul. He's in here on his way home. He, he wants to, you know, enjoy himself. Oh, there's a deer over there. We coulda, coulda shot him, but we're fine. We're just gonna try to make it to the gas station. Let's go ahead and coast a little bit. We've got plenty. We've got plenty, baby. This actually ended up being, Honestly, one of my one of my best days ever. I, I think it might be our, our best day ever in this game. Oof. We cut it close on the gas. But we are good to go. So we're gonna go ahead and pull in here. Pull on around. Boom, got that. Let's go ahead and pick this pick this guy up, throw him in there, turn this on. We're gonna fuel it up a bit. Let's see how close I was. I'm gonna guess $32, 26, ooh, cheaper than I thought. All right, so we're, we're back up here. Go ahead and throw that back. It's time to go home. Let's get, get Chester inside his barn. This is a little bit scary out here. Don't really see home from this direction very often, but I can appreciate it. So let's go ahead and stop right here. Let's pull Chester out. Man, oh, he's scared, he's scared. You're all right, buddy, you're all right. Come on, here we go. Let's go. Good boy. Okay. All right. You are free. I'm going to go ahead and close this behind me. Let's run this food over to the chickens. Let's double check on his food. I think he should be good on food and water. I don't think it goes bad or anything like that. But uh, look at that. He's got a place to roam. He's got his barn to hide from the, the elements. And uh, I, I think he's, he's going to be pretty happy. Yeah, look at this. Chickens already significantly back down in food. Let me check on Chester over here. Just close the bottom one behind us. We don't need to close the top one, so let's just keep an eye on him. Make sure he knows that his food and water are here. There is, as I was mentioning earlier, there's something you can build on this side. You can build a windmill and granary. That's going to cost us 250 bucks. That's not money I want to spend right now. We're kind of having a hard time getting by, so hopefully, hopefully Chester enjoys his time there. I know it's kind of a scary, a scary night to come home to, but uh, I promise you're, you're gonna be all right, buddy. I think we might have some overcrowding in here. So let me pick some of you up and take you over to the other side. We're gonna rebalance everything and I'll see you guys in the morning. All right, guys, so it's the next morning. The storm has passed. Everybody's waking up and uh, hopefully doing pretty well. We got everything figured out. I think we have like 14 or 15 chickens in this one. We're starting to kind of load up this one as well. So soon we should be able to, I mean, we've, we've got to add a third chicken coop, that's for sure, but then we, we should be able to sell live chickens at the uh, the market, at the, the, you know, country store, which will be a good thing for us. Let's go ahead and check on Chester in here, see if he's eating and drinking. I mean, his, his numbers look good so far. We're going to have to keep an eye on him. Just make sure everything's okay. I know we've had issues with some animals not eating and drinking in the past, but he seems all right. And obviously, eventually, the goal is to have many, many, many of him roaming around here. Now, does he, I'm assuming that he, he, you know, produces uh, droppings. I don't see anything yet, though. It hasn't really been that long, and it's it's a new space, so I'm sure he's a little bit nervous, doesn't really want to want to do that, but, um, yeah, here's our, uh, here's our new pig. I, I kind of like, I kind of like having him on a little leash. Chester, you're a good boy. You know that? You're a really good boy. You are a good boy. I love you, Chester. All right. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see you guys in our next episode. And um, I guess we'll just kind of 
see what's going on next. I'm thinking I'm going to grind a little bit, try to get some more money. I mean, we, we really don't have much as of right now. $325. We could have worried about getting food for everyone. Let's go ahead and leave these open so he gets gets a bit of a cross breeze so he can, he can get some air in there. But uh, yeah, apart from, from worrying about people's food, got to figure out the issue with our eggs where they keep disappearing. And uh, I'm thinking our next step is to add more pigs and then after that we've got to add cows which we aren't going to be able to do cows with our gator which means we're gonna to have to make some money to be able to buy a new vehicle and that's going to be a whole thing in and of itself so we've got some grinding to do i may try to add a few more pigs before the next episode and, and we can maybe start taking some of them to market which is sad chester's going to be the first to go but uh sacrifices must be made here in the hidden valley thank you guys so much for watching i'm going to see you guys later peace out